So do you mean to tell me these officers had so much adrenaline that both of these men, side by side, ran into the tracks and just looking in one direction? Nobody thought, let me check behind me before I run onto these tracks? <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Ikid Mel. So the actual video that I wanted to do for tonight, did you guys hear about this weird story about two Chicago officers that got hit by a train? Both officers were hit from behind and they died instantly. Police say the sequence of events happened very quickly, but body cam video from one of the officers is helping police put all the pieces together. When I first heard the story, I was like, how? Like, how is that possible? How do you not hear a train coming? Uh, and it's kind of an interesting story because I guess there was a train that was already coming towards them, but they got hit from behind. And I guess they didn't hear the train from behind them. Uh, it's just so strange to me because, um, you know, I don't know, you guys have ever been out on the road? You can kind of tell when something or a car is coming behind you. I would think a train would be making, you know, the horns or you can hear the tracks. Um, but what they're saying is, and the theory that they think it is, is that because of the train that was in front of them, uh, you could hear the sounds, I guess, and maybe that took away from the sound of the train coming behind them. Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson viewed video from last night's tragic events. It all began when both rookie officers partnered together, responded to a call of shots fired near the railroad tracks in the Rosemore neighborhood. They mentioned here that it's two rookie officers. Uh, and uh, they they mention here that there are protocols and we think everything was adhered to with these officers. What kind of protocol is it to put two rookie officers together? I thought, I mean, I would think common sense. I would think that you would put somebody more experienced, maybe with somebody that's a rookie. Why would you have two rookies together? Police say the officers spotted a suspect. Body cam video of one of the officers shows the two men exiting their vehicle and quickly running up the embankment of the Metro tracks. They talk to each other about where the suspect may have gone. Video shows Marmalejo and Gary walking south along the tracks, crossing the viaduct. They see a northbound Metro train coming, but they were unaware of a South Shore electric line train approaching from behind before it was too late. And it's just kind of crazy to me to think that these two officers were responding kid somebody fired shots there was a suspect that fired shots somewhere and they're responding to it meantime police are questioning a person of interest who possibly fired those original shots charges are pending they got out the car they run over the train tracks to look for the guy and i guess they're both looking in one direction nobody thinks to turn the trains go a maximum of 65 miles an hour, which they're still trying to get the data on the trains. And they both got killed. That's just, just so crazy to me. It's such a waste of life. Um, and, uh, you know, rest in peace and condolences. I, I wouldn't wish um, death upon anybody, you know, but it, it just makes you wonder what was going through their heads. Were they so focused, so like just that nobody thought to maybe look back? And look in the distance like because to me i think common sense i've crossed tracks you guys have any of you ever crossed tracks when i cross tracks even if i'm not hearing anything i still look both sides so do you mean to tell me these officers had so much adrenaline that both of these men side by side ran into the tracks and just looking in one direction nobody thought let me check behind me before i run onto these tracks officers marmalejo and officer gary they are among five officers who have died since July from this district. In July, an officer killed himself while on duty. In September, Officer Regine Perpignan killed herself before her shift. An officer also died from a health issue. And now, two officers killed in the line of duty. And it seems like there's like some craziness going on in Chicago with these officers all dying. It said like two of them killed themselves. Uh, what is going on with these police officers, man? Is there a serious mental health thing going on? Chicago is a crazy place to be. Um, not all parts, you know, but um, the criminal, the heavy criminal areas, I'm watching what I say. Uh, it seems like there's almost an epidemic going on with these officers. It seems like there needs to be some more, some sort of mental health checks. Like I know people want to attack officers and I know there's been some crimes that have gone down that is hideous and heinous. But also, it's like you have to kind of try to understand what is it that's going on. You kind of have to diagnose. You know, it has to be 
like some really intense PTSD, like in that kind of environment all the time. Any day could be your last day. There needs to be some sort of checks and balances. I don't know what they have. Whatever they have or whatever they're doing is not enough. Strange, man. Strange. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button. Help me to continue to grow. I uh, really appreciate you guys. Let's hit 10K. I see potential subscribers. Subscribe for more. This is the motherfucking war.